South Africa. Thank you oh, so sorry, much. Oh, sorry, South Africa. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Yeah, we're facing South Africa. Um, interesting game. Um, I mean, there's so many parallels to to both countries uh, or to the two countries. I, I'm still of the opinion that South Africa is a powerhouse in Africa. They obviously the favorite. They've got uh, everything uh, that you need to win this tournament, and uh, yeah. It's not going to be easy for us, but we 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 we're looking forward to the game, nonetheless. Thank you, coach. Petros, uh, you won in your first match. How's the morale in camp, and how are the boys uh, getting ready for tomorrow's match? Yeah, um, pretty much high. I, I would say uh, it was a good start to the tournament for us. Um, historic, historic moment for us as well. Uh, but obviously, that's that's behind us now. We look forward to the remaining games, and uh, you know we take it a game at a time. And uh, mm -hmm. yeah, really excited. Can you get questions? Please remember to introduce yourself and the media house that you represent. You can get the questions. Uh, good morning, Coach Tawang Kef Media. Uh, coach, we just had a press conference with the South African coach, uh, and one thing you mentioned is the fact that they cannot make the same mistakes they made against Mali. I mean, you played well in the first half and then dropping the tempo points into the second half. Um, with that being said, are you anticipating a, a high intensity game? And if so, uh, do you feel that you would have the, the response for that? Yeah, most definitely. Uh, I think we know that South Africa has, has good players. Uh, they're very much capable of playing a high-intensity game. I think the, the the bulk of their team is made up of this one team that plays a high-pressing game, good on the ball, etc., etc. So that DNA is definitely in there. Um, I think uh, for us, it's always been been about managing our transitions with without the ball, and then using our our uh, our strength, uh, and I think uh, we should be, we are prepared, and and and, and we're looking forward to that game. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Joseph um, from Far Post. My question is directed to the player. <coughs> Just want to understand. Um, you guys spent some time in uh, Ghana. Um, just preparing for, for the AFCON. Uh, how did that help you? Do you feel <coughs> it was the right move to go and spend time in a, in a Ghana where the conditions are almost similar to, to this? Um, are you seeing the results of that in, in the way that you played against Tunisia? Yeah, no, 100% I would say. Um, obviously we have uh, right people in right places in terms of our technical team that took that decision and uh, you know respected that and I mean the conditions like you said are quite similar and uh, in that regard I think uh, it really helped us in acclimatizing to uh, the weather uh, but all in all I think the boys have been in really good shape uh, we've put in a lot of work before and uh, uh, you know in, in getting to Ivory Coast itself so uh, I think the weather and, and all the other aspects are just uh, an added plus, uh, but the motivation from the players has always been there and the hard work is something that you can't really take away from the boys. Um, good morning, Kush. Very well from the CPC again. Um, well, this feature has evolved a lot, especially in this tournament. Um, I think I remember before we played in the 98 tournament, uh, Namibia beat South Africa, I think it was the Safa Cup, and uh, the whole man next to me, he you know more about that. We will not talk more about the forward in the tournament. And you were there also in 2019. Um, how, how, how would you look at the evolution of this feature and, and also the importance of the region also having it uh, here at this level? Thanks. Thanks. Um, yes, like I said, it's our big brothers. We look up to them, and uh, this, the the younger brother always wants to be like the big brother. And at the same time, that younger brother wants to to put uh, some kind of a, an obstacle into the big brother's head uh, feet. But what we can say is that preparations has really been rigorous for us. Uh, we spoke about our time in Ghana. 
basically spending time in camp. Uh, so the dedication of the players really doesn't have any bounds. Uh, the players not only carry their own aspirations, they carry the aspirations of an entire nation's nation, the hope of an entire nation, the dreams of an entire nation. With that said, yes, uh, it's it's beautiful and it's nice to go into history, but I think we've got this this uh, group of, of young professionals that's hungry, that that uh, wrote history by being a certain group that played twice at the, at the AFCON. So uh, they wanna, when they leave, these guys, when they leave, they wanna uh, look back in 10 years, 20 years, and say they belong to a special breed of players. And I think they've come a long way. They've taken a lot of beatings. They've been told not to do this, they've been told not to do that. They are heroes and then they are down there. So it's an emotional roller coaster. And what they know is the football on the field. And, and with such determination and resilience and, and unity, they, they concentrated and looking forward to this game because, uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's just for them to say that uh, we have this one chance and we have to take this chance and uh, if in that process we can they can rewrite the history top uh, if not they go will go out and say listen we gave our all we gave our all and whoever won really really had to go deep into their back and efforts to, to beat them but it's definitely not going to be easy they want to write, write their own names in history Coach, uh, Hezworth from Namibia Press Agency. I think this one goes to the player and the coach uh, they can answer. You, you spoke of uh, the players making history. 2019, they competed in Egypt. And you played South Africa again in 2019. Uh, but you lost by a goal to deal. Now, going into this game from the coaching or the technical side, as uh, Shitembi mentioned, that they have a good technical team that understands what's going on. How much pressure now? Yes, there is a win, and uh, the nation expects another win or a better result. How much pressure are the players in as well as the technical team? <clears throat> Thank you so much. Uh, I think, obviously, uh, like I said, uh, preparations has been rigorous. Uh, the guys have a dream. They're hungry. They're determined. They're united. They're resilient. They, they, they want to make this happen, but at the same time, they're also professional enough to know that, hey, listen, this is what we have to do. This is the only part that they have to do. The noise out there, whether it was 98, 2007, 2018, 1978, doesn't really matter for these guys. For them, it's them. It's about them. And all of the noise out, uh, all of the noise out there, it's like, they, they, it's, it's, they, there's, that's worms of the world. There's, there's horns on the on the ears. They're not listening to that. It's just on them, and that's they 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 just thinking about them. They they it's in them. I haven't seen such determination as we have. You should see us at eat at, at our at our meals. You should see us in the gym. You should see us on the field. It's crazy. I'm scared of them. But at the same time, I still think, yes, everybody out there can make the noise, but we're not listening and we shouldn't be greedy. Shouldn't be greedy. We should let them, let them do what they do, what they can do. And, uh, and that's it. Yeah. Uh, of course, uh, one role that uh, would you say um, the Southern Premier League has also played in, in helping the Brave Warriors to, to shape up this this strong um, uh, team, and, and, I, and I'm also basing this, I remember way back, uh, Coach Manetti here bringing, I think it was an under-19 team that had a young Shalile, um, and from there we've, we've seen um, the, this team grow. So what role would you say um, that league has played in, in giving you the strong team? And also seeing Mr. Shitembe, uh, former Mazulu, and uh, the tax player. <laughs> Really, uh, yeah. Uh, of course, this we, we can't dispute that it is the truth. It's there on paper, and um, the South African League, not only for Namibian players, is is an integral part or an important part 
but it's also for for Africans as a whole, because I mean the the setup resources etc etc is just huge. It's unmatched probably on the continent. So it is true that South Africa is a powerhouse, and. Um, and with that said, obviously these players that you mentioned, yeah, they want to show the big brother or the or the uncle that's housing them that hey, listen, you're doing something good, and that's what we say that you are good, you are the favorites. Normally, you should actually win the World Cup. Yep. Coach. Mm. Hey. And there's a player also in that. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. Okay. 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 <laughs> Yeah. You're playing a wounded big brother. Yeah. Desperately needs uh, a win to keep um, his hopes alive of staying in a, in Ivory Coast. What message will you give to the players um, you know, ahead of this game? My players or their players? Your players. <laughs> you know, like I said, they they so determined. They they you know, they spend Christmas on the soccer field, bra. Christmas. So uh, there's not much I can tell them. It's just to say that, listen, you've put in the work. You've put in the work. What, why, why do you put in the work? You, you want to show the world at a stage where it's about a lot of pressure. You, you, that's why we live or that's why we're doing uh, performance sport. This is the stage. I won't do performance sport. I won't be training on Christmas to go play in the toilet or in a social game. I want to I wanna, I wanna show Africa here. That's why I'm saying there is not really much I can say. It's just that they've done the work, they've put in the, the, the hours on that field. They're hungry, they're united. There's a hunger in them. Uh, they just have to give, go out there, uh, follow the, the instructions that we have, follow their dreams, know that they, they're doing it for themselves and what's coming. And uh, it should be good, whether it's negative or positive. If it's negative, whoever's on the other side should be on the on the ground and like, huh, what was this about? Merci. Yes, my, my question is going to Mr. Shtembe. Um, I've previously spoken to you about uh, Shalini and what is achieved and what is done. Um, the coach has also been emphasizing and the role that you guys as this uh, Brave Warriors Golden Generation you've played. Um, just firstly on, on Shalulile, um, what would you say uh, are the attributes that set him um, different from, 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 from everyone? And, and, and also, how can Namibian football, and I'm, I'm not saying you guys, this is the end of the road because there's an AFCON next year, um, but how can Namibia build from this? Sure that the bar that you've set um, is not just a, a pushed away after, after you've retired. Yeah, thank you for that. Um, I think, with regards to, to Peter, um, if I have to say what sets him apart, firstly, I mean, it's, it's um, his humility. He's been, uh, I've known him for years, um, knowing him since then to now, I don't think much has changed in him. Um, the determination and drive that he has for football is is is, is second to none. He's uh, he's always determined to improve himself. Um, he's got personal goals that he's always looking to achieve, and uh, I think he's he's done incredibly well in the South African league for the past how many seasons? Uh, and you guys can attest to that. So uh, yeah, I mean he's he's a boy that works tirelessly, and um, obviously with hard work, obviously you get re re rewards through that. And uh, he's he's a he's a perfect example for for hard work and uh, attaining whatever dreams and aspirations you may have. Um, and in terms of going forward, I think uh, it's important for continuation. Of course, uh, we don't have control over that. Um, neither do the guys next to us. Yeah, uh, it all goes back to back home and uh, you know setting certain things in place. Uh, we, we do have a lot of work to do, uh, we know that very well. Uh, football is an evolving sport and uh, we have to keep up with the times. So as, as long as we do that and get certain things in place, I think we should be alright because Namibia is obviously a country blessed with vast talent and uh, we can't take away from that. As long as we have the right fundamentals in place, we should be, we should be okay.
Bonjour coach. Bonjour. Konate euh, de la télévision nationale ivoirienne RTI. Coach, vous avez euh, enregistré face euh, à la Tunisie. Ils sont seulement carrying their own aspirations. They've got dreams. Uh, they're carrying the hopes and, and dreams and aspirations of our whole entire nation. Uh, so there's a lot of people that they're carrying on their backs. So it's never easy. It's it's really never easy. So for us being underdogs and and not have done this and not have done that, it's it's weird every day. So to a certain extent, uh, we immune to it, and we really just tend to focus on ourselves. We prepare properly. We prepare as professionals, and uh, we take the battles as they come. And we're gonna give everything. We're gonna give everything because this is what we live for. This is soccer. And uh, we have dreams, bro. We have dreams. Bonjour, c'est la Chico New York TV. Est-ce que uh, pour ce match, coach, uh, <coughs> le groupe Namibia a fiche complet? Est-ce qu'il y a des, des blessés? Est-ce que tout le groupe est disponible pour uh, cette rencontre? Yes, yes, uh, yeah, um, <clears throat> we had obviously after such a game where it's really physical uh, uh, and, and also at that level, you always have knocks. So we had a few knocks the last two days, uh, but uh, luckily, I think this afternoon, this evening, we're going to train with, with a full squad. Uh, the medical department has been really, really doing a marvelous job on, on the guys, and I think uh, we're going to have Oliver, everybody on board this evening and... and yeah, we're all good. We're ready to go and we're re ready for the for that match and uh, we're looking forward to that. All is good. Thanks. Any more questions for you?